on this edition of the Maximizing Medicare Weekly. We've got a how-to guide for pre-Medicare persons in the individual health insurance marketplace. You can get your quotes. I'm going to show you how costly it can be if you make errors. The second part is that we're going to take a look at Medicare ABCs, my name of my seminar, and public appearances. And third, I'm going to give you a sneak peek into GH2 Unfiltered because I've made comments about cryptocurrencies and I'm going to give you a quick update on where we are today. All that coming up next. Hi everybody, my name is Jay O. I'm the author of Maximize Your Medicare. Welcome to the Maximize Your Medicare Weekly. Before we get started here, I have to start by talking about GH2 Unfiltered. At the in the second segment, I'm going to be giving you a sneak free preview of a video I released this morning, which goes back to and dovetails along with a prior video, which is for subscribers only, which has to do with cryptocurrency and how to think about it. Now, the fact is that one size doesn't fit all and it's not financial advice. Nevertheless, there's so much noise, it is very easy to get confused. And it's also very easy to be distracted by the fact that your Uber driver or your best friend says, well, I'm a multi-billionaire now that I've you know, invested in Bitcoin. All of that said, that doesn't mean that it's invalid. It doesn't mean that cryptocurrency is going to disappear tomorrow. That is now gone. I give you some ideas on how different people might want to think about it. So that's all on GH2 Unfiltered. The second segment today is going to dovetail back to current events on crypto. Back to today. The fact is that February 15th started uh, the special enrollment period for the individual health insurance marketplace. And for me, the number one issue is that there's a free option and people should take it absolutely if they realize, oh, I've missed the deadline from last year, or I'm trying to change plans, etc. That is all possible here. Okay. That said, it is also the source of the largest error. The amount of money either overpaid for premium or didn't select the right plan. The fact is, is that individual health insurance is much more complicated than Medicare. It's infinitely more complicated than Medicare. The networks are completely fragmented and that makes it very, very difficult for consumers to choose. The ideas of deductible, co-payments, co-insurance, out-of-pocket maximum, those combinations are much more varied in the individual health marketplace as opposed to Medicare. The individual marketplace, relatively speaking, is weaker than the employer-sponsored plans, in other words, the group markets. In other words, for the same dollar, let's just say it's like $100 a month, there's no such thing, for the same dollar, the individual marketplace is much weaker it makes the idea of getting the APTC, which is otherwise known as the premium subsidy, that much more important. Because there are these other features in there that people don't fully understand. They're not taking full advantage of what the governments, whether it be the federal government or your state government or both, are allowing under the Affordable Care Act. And by not flipping over these rocks, this is not a 5 to $10 a month difference. This is a multi-thousand dollar difference. That's what my point is here. Let's just go here to GH2 Unfiltered. It's up here on your screen. This is my firm. What happens is you can just go here and you can get your free quotes here <clears throat> on online by clicking on online of quoting. And here we go. And you scroll down and you can see it here. Over here on health is individual health insurance quotes. So what happens here is, you know, I'm affiliated with this group, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, that, um, you know, has this platform. And that's not really the key. What is the key is the fact that you can get these extra 
quotes here. So let's just put in a zip code, and I'm going to put just put in Ann Arbor, and then no, without. Now I would suggest that you put your name and email here. If you do, I will know that you've been active, and if you have questions, I will know how to respond and help. But let's just continue on for those persons who will not do this. <coughs> yes, I'd like to know. This is very important. You do want to see. You do want to see. And here's the issue. So let's just put a 51-year-old male. And I'll show you just how big this can be. And let's just say, no, not eligible, not a tobacco user, a spouse. And let's call the female in this instance. It does not have to be different sex marriage, by the way. It does not have to be. Let's call her 52. No. Let's just continue. So now here's how many people. In it. Now you get to some screening here for the financial, your taxable income. Now remember, this is taxable income. you got to be careful. This is modified adjusted. Here it is. Estimate your total household income. And this thing is where the mishandling occurs. And you can see, including if anyone you're claiming, even if they're not getting coverage, a guess is fine for now. I don't love that sentence, to be candid with you, and I'll show you why. Let's just say the couple is six is seventy thousand dollars. Okay, and let's go continue. Your income is too high to qualify for savings, and then you have sixty-three plans for you to compare, which is a lot, right? Sixty-three, fair amount. Let's go backwards, and you can see. Let's say here. You are too optimistic and you know you're just kind of noodling your number and then you just said, okay, I'll just made up a number at 60,000. And now instead, let's say you're off by 5,000. And you can see it here. You're off by $5,000 on the estimate, right? From 70,000 to 65,000. If you were accurate at sixty-five thousand, you would the couple would save four hundred and six a month. If you multiply that by twelve, that's the entire five thousand back. You can see how big this is, right? They made a mistake by five thousand dollars. They cost themselves another $5,000 in excess health insurance premium. Boom. Right there. That alone shows you, and I, I don't think that people fully understand the magnitude by which this number can change. That said, you can see as a, also as a result how important it is to get this number as close to accurate as you can. And for this, this is how I stay, my lights stay on. Because this is now a tax matter. Tax matter. And this is what I don't like about this idea. I, you know, when I'm in public, I tell persons, look, the reason the world has become more complicated now, the reason that I've got these videos, which all are kind of similar in a way, but what I'm really trying to drive home is the idea that these topics you, people have in our society, or in the way that you read, you know, a tweet or a, you know, a Facebook post, you think about these as separate topics. They are no longer separate. First of all, have you heard me talk about your doctor? That there's a reason: health care, not health insurance. We're talking about financial matters here. This $65,000 clearly a tax issue. This is a tax number. But the ripple effect then goes to your health insurance premium. Now, one word of caution. Well, many words of caution, but the most important word of caution is you also can't make the mistake the other way around. 
right? So now let's just say, for example, instead, let's say I, I wanted to be over aggressive and say, hey, why don't I just get the biggest subsidy possible? Could I do that? Yeah. I enter 60000 I qualify for savings, $447 a month. The problem is, at the end of the year, because of this is a tax matter, if you have this wrong, let's say you actually made $70,000, you have to pay this entirety back in taxes when you file 2021 income taxes. There's a reason that I have all, that I say on these financial matters that it's not a good idea to do so unassisted. It's also not a good idea to have an I to have your assistance. The assistance here, candidly, I'm biased. I'm biased, obviously, right? Is that the reason I bring this up? Is that this number here is not a trivial number? What I don't like about this this bubble is it's saying you can see it on the far right hand of your screen. A guess is fine for now. Okay, not exactly, right? You while you're not controlling the unknown, that part I get. That doesn't mean just guess. We have to stop short of there. Nevertheless, there it is, uh, you know, fairly clear. You can see that it's complicated. 63 plans, just a married couple, 50 and 50, or 51 and 52 in Ann Arbor. Different parts of the country will have different variances here and different amounts of subsidy based on, you know, the plans and what they what they cost. We've not even got into the immediate intermediate part of this video in the sense that there are more layers. Once you start here, <clears throat> for example, we're here now, it gets worse because what happens is preferred doctors and hospitals and skipping this step, prescription drugs skip this step, in which case then you actually have to think through all 63 plans, which is another ball of wax and an even more complicated one. All right. There it is. The special enrollment period started on February 15th. It'll end May 15th. It takes effect the first day of the month following that you enroll. GH2Benefits.com. You can follow the website, follow this video, and then get your quote, get your estimate. Hi everybody, it's J.O. This is GH2 Unfiltered. It's just a quick update. Don't have a specific topic because I'm tying back to a couple of other videos. For those who have missed the other videos, be sure to watch the cryptocurrency video as well as the Gain Stop the Presses video. Those are the graphics there up on your screen. And the reason is because I'm going to double back onto them just so I don't regurgitate old material and in addition to trying to tie back some ideas. So the first thing here is cryptocurrency on a crazy run. And since putting up the video, I don't know, whenever it was, maybe a month ago, cryptocurrency has gone from 2,500, 20, 28,000, approximately to 55,000 on Bitcoin. Now, everything that I said on that video still remains to be the case. This is a question about sizing for you, right? What you care about is sizing. Everything that I said before, is still true. What is number one? We still have a store of value question. Whether or not the US dollar is the reserve currency of the world, whether or not there are alternatives. Gold kind of being the old fashioned, decades old version of that. If you want to protect yourself, you buy gold. Okay. You could say that that has been become modernized into Bitcoin. Fine. It does create the issue, and it is the reason that it becomes severe is because with all the stimulus talk, it has just simply raised the, the specter of the issue of how much debt all of these countries, United States included, and matched and exceeded in Europe, exceeded in Europe, 
because they've been much more supportive than the United States of their own in domestic currencies, that you have a problem with how you're going to pay this stuff back. And in history, what the only way to do that is to plummet your domestic currency, which sparks a possible set of hyperinflation. The only hedge to that is to have assets that beat in that hyperinflation, therefore commodities, gold, or Bitcoin. That is the connection point for those people who have not who are new to the entire rationale. Okay. So there it is. That stuff is all still intact. In fact, you could say that the switch into cryptocurrencies has largely been sparked by something that we have seen in financial markets. So we're going to get to that second segment in a few moments because they are linked together. My two videos, the one on cryptocurrency and the one on GameStop, the one on GameStop, which says, you know, GameStop, the presses, those two actually are connected with one another. Why? All right, so let's just go back to cryptocurrency. I don't want to, I'm trying to talk quickly without being all over the place and trying to keep us organized. You can see my concern over one of those other things is that although the basis is still intact, if you get too big here, this is going to happen. And here's the newsfeed aggregator. So you're here on the site. You can go to gh2unfiltered.com. Inside here is something called the latest. If you click on the latest, you'll see a bunch of news. So I'm aggregating news for you right to see the things that I'm taking a look at well here's one here which is this one which is Austrian regulators call for stricter crypto regulations now this can be an issue this can be an issue and the reason I say it can be an issue is because if you have stricter crypto laws uh, as a for whatever reason Right? And this one is just talking about fraud. That's actually not the one that I am actually concerned about. Because there's going to be that in any commercial activity. Right, So this one being outstanding by its nature, yes, it is going to be because there, this is done in, on the internet. That's true. There's no physical delivery of a physical asset meaning there are limits, I guess, you know, there could, and of course, you know, there's like counterfeit gold, for example. That's fine. But the real issue here is the fact that regu there's no barrier to entry for the regulators. Whether, now, regulator in this instance is about fraud. And again, while almost certainly true, Right? I don't think that that's big enough. However, tell me what the barrier to entry to call it, to creating a transaction tax. So now I'm Tesla and I accept Bitcoin as currency for my car. What's to stop me from having a transaction tax? What's to stop me from have creating my own cryptocurrency and telling the banks, look, if you want to lever yourself as a banks do, you need to hold X percent for dollars and Y percent for currency, for cryptocurrency. There's nothing to stop federal governments from doing so. In other words, why, why am I bringing up this point? The last point here, on, and the last point I'll make here about the cryptocurrency, right? If you've lost control of your currency, you cease to be a country, right? You tell me what the, the what the point of a border is. No, it's not to build a wall. Sorry, right? It is. You have taxation, and you have currency. Right? That defines the borders, your borders. If you're the government and you've lost control of the currency, you've got a problem so fundamental 
right? That governments just cannot allow that to occur. The idea of the the idea of the Communist Party of the PRC to say, okay, we're just going to let cryptocurrency and let 1.7 billion Chinese like transact in some currency that they don't strictly know about. That I, I'm not a buyer of that. So as a result, one of the overhangs, one of the clouds, and I'm not saying it's today, right? If you're thinking, if you're in the camp of Bitcoin to two million dollars of Bitcoin, I've seen one million dollars as you know as a possible forecast. I would think again. That's it for this edition. But don't forget the important fact that between January first and March thirty first, the Medicare Advantage open enrollment period is still underway. If you are an existing Medicare Advantage policy owner, you do have the right to make a single change during this first quarter. For those people who have extra help or on Medicaid, you can be changing once per quarter during the first three quarters and again during the annual election period. Last thing, special thank you to the following organizations, one which is Ali in Oklahoma State, Coming up this coming week, I'll be speaking at the Ali <clears throat> chapter of George Mason University in Virginia. Please go ahead and register for that organization if you live in Virginia. And lastly, on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday at 10 a.m., you can listen to me online, wsgw.com. I'll be the guest of Art Lewis, very experienced radio show host who is also a Medicare beneficiary. That's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. It does help other people learn about the Maximizer Medicare podcast, the Maximizer Medicare Weekly here on the, and the YouTube channel. Thanks.